Okay, guys, we're in the woods. Hold on. Okay, we're in the woods. I got this new backpack here. It's the Miway 42 liter military tactical backpack. That runs me about, that was 35 bucks. I'll put links for all this in the description. Fortunately, some of it I can't remember where I got it. It's a little old, like these Molly attachment bags. I know I got this off the Paratus 3V 3-day bag. This is just a military canteen you can buy on Amazon. They're everywhere. They're stainless steel. This is my main cook kit. Put that right there. Put that right there. It's the nesting cup. And we'll get close ups of this all after I'm done. Now let's go to the front small pocket of this bag. I have my headlamp kit here. It's the Foxilla 180 lumen rechargeable headlamp. Um, it goes for 40 hours runtime. I have the headlamp along with a power bank inside here. That right there. And I got my folding saw, just any folding saw. And I got my rain cover for my backpack. Okay, let's get into this smaller pocket up here. Where I keep my Lee Fisher twine. I get the 700 feet at 150 tests for around $10. So it's a braided nylon twine. It's awesome. Okay, it's a ground tarp. I got just a Mylar blanket. One of the emergency ones you can get. I got this for Christmas. And also for lighting, I got the E-Tech City lamp. It turns on just by opening it up. I think it's 60 lumens, but it's very bright. I'll, I'll show you the lights at night later on. Okay, let's get into the main compartment. Here I have the Outdoorsman Lab. Uh, I forget the specific name of it. It's a sleeping pad. I highly recommend this. It was $42 on Amazon. It blows up. It blows up in about five breaths. It's really awesome. Um, like I said, I'll get into detail on this all right after this. And uh, for a tarp, I got Chill Gorilla. 10x10 10 10 tarp. The color is the same as this bag here. We'll set that up too. I think that was about 45 bucks. My sleeping bag is slipping my mind right now. I forget the name of it. The Aegis Max Mummy Sleeping Bag. Um, I'll show you it in detail here. I think it's rated down to 40 degrees Fahrenheit, but you can go colder than that. This is not the stuff sack it came in. It gets way smaller than this. This is an old sleeping bag stuff sack that I find is way easier to get it in. So that's why I use that. And uh, when I'm not sleeping on the ground, which is normally the summer because I hate bugs, I use my Grand Trunk Skeeter Beater Hammock I got here. When I got this it was 70 bucks. I think right now they're selling for around 50. Um, it's like a jungle hammock. The bug nets on these things are so closed that nothing can get through them. I love this thing. Okay, what else have we got in here? Alright, for when I don't want to make a fire, I have the E-Tech City stove. It fits into this thing here. It's very small. And it's on 60-40 propane butane mix. You can get at Walmart for six bucks. This stove here was 14 bucks, I believe. Okay, and for music, or when I'm watching a movie on my phone, I got this JBL waterproof Bluetooth speaker. It's very loud. And in here, I just put Tinder and whatnot. I'll strap it to my belt sometimes. But yeah, let's get into this.
Okay, here's just the basic lean to configuration of the Chill Gorilla 10x10. Um, it's got a grommet on the ridge line there, which is what I use to stake into the ground. Um, just tied it up with some slip knots. It also has a grommet right in the middle of the, the tarp here. So all in all it has one, two, three, four, five, six grommets on it. It's very good quality and I love the color. You can get it in blue, I think, and some other colors. Alright, let's uh, set up the other gear. Okay, here's the Outdoorsman Lab sleeping pad. It has heat catching technology. Um, it blew up and you saw how many breaths. There's about eight maybe, I don't know. But it's decently thick. I mean, this thing, I saw durability tests of it. It's tough. I mean, I really like it. It's comfy too. So, uh, let's throw the sleeping bag on it. Okay, here's the Aegis Max sleeping bag. Um, this thing is 80 bucks on Amazon. It's a mummy down sleeping bag. Kind of reminds me of the jackets that you can get. Um, there she is in there. This thing, like I said, is rated to 40 degrees. It's freaking snug as a bug. Combined with this Outdoorsman Lab inflatable sleeping bag, as well as that, which I'll put in between the uh, the ground and my sleeping pad. It's a warm setup, even for winter. Yeah, okay. What else we got? Okay, here's the Grand Trunk Skeeter Beater. I have the elastic for the bug net right here. I don't really feel like putting it up, but it kind of lifts it up off the hammock itself. Um, you gotta watch out for maybe rolling on it. You will rip the bug net here. That happened. I had this for years before that happened though. I just put it up with some ratchet straps. I took the ratchets off of it. Um, I love this hammock, man. It should be. Here's a military stainless steel canteen. Um, like I said, you can get these on Amazon for about 20 bucks, maybe a little more. There's a nesting cup here. This is great for just yourself. Um, Packs for a light and uh, bag molly straps onto your backpack if you have this. Okay, this is a Fox Solo rechargeable headlamp here. Um, I'll put a video up later of me using this in the dark. Um, it recharges pretty quick. It lasts 40 hours supposedly. It's probably on the lower mode though you got a low high strobe mode for this and that's it and of course there's this uh, really nicely made this metal feeling you take city lamp you just pull it open and it turns on it's very nice and then uh, let me get a video of uh, this thing burning some water Now it is pretty windy here, so uh, we'll test this out and see how long it takes to boil about a cup of coffee. Yeah, you can see how windy it is just by the steam coming off, so that took four minutes in the wind. If I had this in a tent or uh, behind a windbreak, this would take half that time. Very nice stove. Okay, this is the uh, E-Tech City Lantern here. I'm in my room now. Um, as you can see, it's pretty bright for 60 lumens. Um, okay, let's do the headlamp now. Okay, this is the headlamp here. This is low. 
It's this high scrub mud. Low, high scrub mud. Now everything here is about 12, 15 feet away. This thing's pretty bright. Um, I have no problem with it. 180 lumens, 40 hours of charge. There's my dirty laundry. All right.